Hey guys, this is LSD789 with another build video. This is going to be my PvP uh, Dark Zone Conflict build. It's a really tanky build, it has uh, 130,000 armor regen. Uh, always, so it's really good. Let's get into it. Um, this one has the firewall specialization with the flamethrower. Mainly because you get a med kit that gives you 200% armor regen if you use a med kit. So yeah, you, you can take a shot and still be at 100% armor because it has 200%, yeah, it's really good. Also it comes with a shield, the ballistic striker shield. Uh, it's really nice. You, you can use any specialization, but I like the firewall the best. Then for the guns, I use a Sand Elmer's engine with assault rifle damage, health damage and the damage to target out of cover. If you don't have that third attribute, uh, you can re-roll it in the crafting station. I will show later how to re-roll your exotics. Um, this one comes with the Actum Est talent. Shooting an enemy with this weapon will give you one stack. At 100 stacks, the next magazine will be 100% filled with shock ammo. And this, ma this gun has a 70 round magazine. So you can just keep shooting the enemy with 70 rounds, it's really good. And then when you shock the players, they uh, they can't shoot you, and you can shoot them for free. So it's so it's almost really good. Yeah. The next to that, I have the apartment SMG with SMG damage, crit chance, and damage out of cover. Uh, with a perfectly measured talent, the top half of your magazine has 20% fire rate, but minus 27 weapon damage. Then the bottom half of the magazine has minus 20 fire rate, but plus 33 weapon damage. So yeah, the first half of your magazine you will shoot faster with lower damage, and then the second uh, half of your magazine will do more damage at a slower fire rate. And you can use any secondary gun you like, but I like I like this one a lot. It's, uh, it's a nice gun. It's uh, yeah, it's good. Then for the pistol, you can put on any pistol you like. It doesn't really matter. Nah, it's uh, it's whatever. Then for the gear, I have the chill out mask from the Giller Guard. You can actually put on any Giller Guard, but this named item uh, will do the job. But any named Giller Guard will do. The special thing about this chill out mask is you can put on two uh, gear mod modifications. Yeah. But uh, if you put on any Giller Guard, that will do the job, so it's, it's the same. Then. Uh, wait, let's go to the ninja backpack. This ninja backpack has weapon damage, armor, and skill tier. I put it on crit chance. And then the talent is resourceful. Slots in with any equipment, gear set, and brand set. Item to fulfill a requirement towards unlocking a gear set bonus. Can unlock bonuses from multiple sets simultaneously. So you put on this backpack, and then on all the pieces you get plus one to the brand set. And that's why this chill out. Uh, Giller Guard mask is at 3. Yeah, this backpack is a must for this build. It just gives you plus 1 on all your brand set, gear set bonuses. So this chill out gives you total armor, 5% uh, total armor, 60% health, and 2% armor regen. And we want that regen. So yeah, I have another uh, Giller Guard here. Um, this one has, uh, again, 5% armor, 60 health, 2% armor regen. With a core attribute as armor, then I have armor regen and crit chance on it. Then for the uh, chest piece, I have a belt on armory with 1% armor regen and 10% armor on kill. This core attribute is armor again. Um, the attribute is armor regen, crit damage, and crit chance. And then I put on the unbreakable talent. When your armor is depleted, you repair 95% of your armor every 60 seconds, if it happens. So yeah, I'm at 2 million armor, and then when your armor breaks, you get another almost 2 million. So it almost doubles your armor with this uh, chest piece. This unbreakable is almost a must in PvP. Yeah, it just basically doubles your armor. Um, then I put on uh, a Golan Gear holster. That gives you status effects, 1.5% armor regeneration. Um, then the core attribute is armor. The attributes are armor regen and crit chance. Then already went over this one. 
Then I have the Empress Guard knee pad from the Murakami Industries. This one has skill duration and repair skill. I, I don't really use the brand set of this uh, knee pad. But then the core attribute is armor and it has 1% armor regen and crit chance on. And that 1% regen uh, is calculated of your total armor. So that's why I have armor cores on all pieces. So this 1% armor regen is better. If you have the 4900 regen, it's, it's less regen than 1% of your total armor. So yeah, this knee pad is, it just gives you a lot of regen. I actually need to find a better knee pad, because the good thing about this knee pad is you can put two times armor regen on. So 1% armor regen and the 4900. But the thing is, it comes with uh, a skill tier as a core attribute. So it's, it's not, you need the armor, it's more important to have the armor than the two times regen. So yeah, I still need to find a better one, but yeah, this, this is really good. Then for the skills, I used the Striker Ballistic Shield from the Flamethrower. And uh, yeah, you, uh, you get an angle in front of you that uh, if an enemy is in front of you, 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 give, uh, you get damage to the player. And if a mate of yours is behind you, you give that damage uh, to your mates as well. And this shield is at skill to 6 because I have armor on everything. Then you get 60 active regen, 250% uh, shield health, 40 holster regen, and the buff strength is at 2%. I put in a mod from shield health, active regeneration, and holster regen. Then the other skill is the jammer. Because if a player has a shield on, or if an enemy has a shield on, or they use skills, I like to get rid of it with the jammer. This one has extra radius and effect duration. So yeah, I like the jammer to just get rid of the player's skills. Yeah. yeah this build's pretty good. Get a lot of tankiness and regen. So yeah, let's go into the stats and see that. This is the St. Elmo's talent, the apartment talent, the pistol. Flamethrower. Then I have 77,000 weapon damage, 30,000 weapon damage in the PvP, 60 crit chance, 1 on 1 crit damage, 35 headshots, health damage with the with the Saint Elmo, range reloads, accuracy stability, uh, all weapon damage, sword rifle damage, SMG damage, the backpack talent and the unbreakable chest piece talent. Killer cards, all three stages for that regen. Bellstone is mostly the first stage of that is important with the regen. And killer card. Golden is the second stage is important with the regen. And this has an attribute with the regen, so this one is good. I'm at 2 million armor, 200,000 armor on kill, 131 armor regen, and this is just always active. active. You always have 131 regen. Uh, 561 health, health on kill, health regen, uh, pulse resist, and hazard protection is this, yeah. This is the stats for the shields, buff angle, buff range, all stats regen. These are the stats for the jammer. I will show you the PvP stats too, yeah. This is all the PvP stats. Armor regen, still at 2 million armor. The damage is here. Yeah, it's, it's a really good uh, tanking, damaging build. Now I will show you how to reroll this St. Elmo's to have that damage out of cover. Because it, it can drop with anything you want. Uh, yeah, uh, you need to go to the crafting station, so you can't do it in the Tinker station. You can uh, reroll your exotic guns. In here, if you go to weapons, you scroll down to exotics, and then I'm gonna look for the St. Elmo's engine. It's right here. Oh, here it is. And now you can see on the right, you reconfigure your gun, and it's gonna take the St. Elmo's that you have. It's gonna spend one exotic component and some other resources, and then you can select the gun that you want to reroll. This one. And then when you reroll it, the third attribute will be random. So you need to keep rerolling uh, re it 
until you get the damage out of cover. And each time you reroll it, it's gonna cost one extra component. Which yeah, where you get the damage out of cover, just upgrade it and then you're good to go. Yeah. Hope you guys like the video. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. And I will put in some gameplay now of the, of the build. Hope you guys have a nice day. I will see 789 out. Incoming Dark Zone Drop. Dark Zone Drop has been delivered. Heavily armed hostiles guarding location nearby. Transmission range limited. Proximity coverage only. Access complete. Polarized hostiles detected. Nearby agent has become rogue. Rogue agent nearby. Serious trauma detected. 